Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Sense. Our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today we're going to continue on with my transitional fragrances note series and we're talking about the beautiful note of pear. So pear can be this juicy, ripe, just amazingly sweet note that is paired with like marshmallow or vanilla to get it in the fall mood just to be ooey gooey and sweet and warm and cozy or it can be paired with spices like vetiver to bring about a spiced pear drink vibe or dessert vibe ah it just gets so good so let's just go ahead and jump right into the video we are going to kick pear off with a bang we're gonna pull out a heavy hitter this is Ariana Grande's Ari. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those who say, oh, a celebrity fragrance. Uh, Ariana Grande. Uh, yes, on all counts. This is beautiful. This is sensual. This is sexy. It's youthful and it's flirty, not juvenile. This has way too much sex appeal to be considered too young. So you have your bergamot and your raspberry and your pear they just open this up wonderfully, but it transitions so beautifully into a colder weather fragrance like fall because of the musk, the woody notes, the marshmallow and the rose. Like she is really doing something with this fragrance. This isn't just put out there to just be, you know, whatever you think a celebrity fragrance is supposed to be. This is a very high quality celebrity fragrance, in my opinion. Um, Yo, at 40, I would rock this every day of fall if I didn't have such a big collection. It does remind me of Let's Jam, the hair gel pomade that we used to use back in the 90s, but that smells amazing. I just really, really love the smell of this and it is perfect for fall. We might as well keep it in the family. I'm going to go ahead and mention her newest release. Yes, Miss Ariana Grande's God is a Woman. Don't play with me about that packaging. Y'all already saw, no, I'm not doing that. Um. This is beautiful. This is Parent and Brett. This is the lesser or weaker version of another fragrance on this list, but it projects really, really loudly when you first put it on and it does stay around if you're a super heavy sprayer, but the quality isn't there for me when comparing it to something else I already have on this list. However, if you're just looking for a cute pair of fragrance, this is it. You can layer this with something spicy for those of you who layer to take this right on into fall, but... I'm telling you, I wore this when there was a nice cool breeze out and everybody could smell it. So to me, that's when the breezes pick up. I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the list. Please spray heavy. Layer if you want with something spicy for longevity. But give this a try, especially on a windy day. Watch how people react. Next up, we have the fragrance that I think God is a Woman may be a dupe of. This is Clean Reserves Radiant Nectar, again with the pear and the ambrette. This one has orris root, it has carrot seeds, it has ambroxan, like it's just stunning. This is a better quality version. Um, they, yeah, they don't smell identical. I'm gonna go ahead and say right now that this, you know, God is a Woman is not a dupe for this. But man, are they similar. However, I would suggest that you, yeah, this is an instant skin scent for me. So I only wear it at home. However, if it were a date night and you were going to be close, like close, I would choose this one. If you are, if you are just going out and you want to be cutesy, you can wear this one. But I'm not really sure which one is cheaper between the two. So I would choose this one. I already had it though. If you can get this one cheaper, go right ahead. Do whatever you want to do, whatever works for you. But um, this one is, the reason I said that this transitions very well is because you can wear this all year round. But the pear note in this, I so many of my subbies pair this fragrance, pair this fragrance <laughs> with spicy fragrances and take them into fall and winter. So if you're a layering person, and the goal for you is to have a pair note in whatever situation you're going to create in the layering process, this could be a very key ingredient or fragrance for you to play around with. So 
That's why it's on this list. And I had you, I can't have a pair list and I put this on there. This is one of the best pair fragrances in my collection. Probably top three, to be honest. I don't have to spend too much time on this next one because I just recently hauled it and talked about it and did a follow-up on it because I freaking love it. This touts a pear ice cream note. This is Coach Dreams Sunset. Y'all, just pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect for work. Perfect because of this pear note and the sweetness in it to carry you into fall. I don't know about you guys, but I love to smell sweet in the fall. I want a fragrance that's going to be picked up by the breeze and spread amongst everyone within smelling. I was going to say earshot. Oh my gosh, Lord, just, I can't right now. Is it a smelling shot? You know, whatever. Close enough to smell it. Carried on the breeze. Carried by the wind. Get it. Get it. All of it. I love it. Usually when you're dealing with a fragrance that has a pear note, it's always one of the top three notes. Like almost always. But in this next fragrance, it's at the end. And it is surrounded by ambergris and tonka bean. This is light blue Escape to Paneria. Y'all, I just did my complete light blue collection. Dolce and Gabbana light blue collection. Y'all know this is my favorite one. So sweet. So beautiful. You got your burst of citrus energy going on in the top. But baby, that dry down is everything. Everything. I absolutely love this. Um, I normally wouldn't even mention a light blue. You know, wouldn't even think about that for the fall. But again, guys, because this one is so sweet, it's perfect for date nights. And again, this is the kind of fragrance you want to be wearing near a fireplace. If you're out, you know, at a bonfire and you're making s'mores, you know, yes, yeah, some people like the smell of melting chocolate and marshmallows. And then marshmallow sweetness would pair beautifully with this as well. But you are going to be, your scent is going to be picked up by that breeze, man. You're going to smell so good. Fall is the time to start pulling out your sweet fragrances. Those and the pear note is just perfect because it's not quite yet time for gourmands. And again, I'm just speaking in generalizations. You can wear what you want, when you want, how you want. But at the beginning of fall, transitioning from summer into fall, I'm not reaching for my gourmands just yet. Not unless I'm just craving something specifically. But pear, yeah, sign me up. This next fragrance has a beautiful pairing of pear and sorbet. And it also has like, I think orange blossom and, you know, some citrus in there. But it has vanilla and jasmine and amber and sandalwood. And just me saying those lets you know how prepared and ready this fragrance is for fall. But again, it is also beautiful. It's actually really beautiful in the high heat and the cool nights of summer. This is from Viva La Juicy Glace. Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy, whatever you want to call it. This is Glace. I absolutely love this fragrance. Fun and youthful, but that dry down, baby. Grown and sexy. Oh, it's so fresh and so clean. It's just, you know, I love this fragrance. I love this fragrance. I know there are some people who just really like dark and deep and sultry all the time. It's the same old monotonous thing. Heavy spices, heavy incense, frankincense and all that. But I get it. I get it. But I don't care. I, I'm, I just need people to stop telling me that I'm too old to wear Juicy Couture and Viva La Juicy. I will never agree with that. This is the epitome of sexy. It's fun and it's youthful and it's sweet. And that is what I like. And I know my subbies, for real, I'm not even talking to y'all because y'all don't come at me like that. Sometimes when I say I'm too grown for something, y'all be like, uh, where? Because I still wear that and I'm 46. So I still wear that and I'm 53. You know, I rock with y'all. But there are some other YouTubers out here who, I mean, they just spend their lives trashing Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture. And the ones that I own, like La Bubbly and this one and Pink Couture and La Fleur, which is my favorite, and Rosé. Like, the ones I have for me are absolutely grown woman approved. So, after that little rant, this is beautiful. The use of pear is amazing. If you haven't gotten your nose on it, you should try it. I don't think I've ever talked about this next fragrance on my channel I started off with the decant, used it all, immediately went and purchased a full bottle of this. 
I love this fragrance. There's something magical about the combination of pear with almond, and then you add frangipani, jasmine, sandalwood, and hawthorn, and you get one of the most beautiful creations to come from this line. I am talking about none other than Valentino Donna Aqua. I have no idea why the name of this is Donna Aqua, because baby, this is not an aquatic scent. That almond and that pear, just stunning. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful in summer and in fall. So this is another perfect date night fragrance. But you can also wear this to work. I think it's perfectly fine. That jasmine and that hawthorn and that sandalwood just make this everyday work appropriate if you want that to be your fall signature scent as well. I won't spend too much time on this one because it's also a video regarding it. So I will tag that video or maybe two up top so that you can go and check those out. If you don't know anything about the KKW Diamonds 2 collection, Green Emerald Diamond. Baby Kim did her thing, honey. Mm -mm. Her and Chloe killed the game with their fragrances. That mess that Courtney came out with, that red diamond, no thank you, no thank you. So um, I kind of feel like I want to smell it again because it reminds me, I feel like it reminds me of L'Entre de Rouge. But back then, I wasn't ready for that, so I sold it. Um, this is a beautiful use of pear blossom. The green notes in here with the pear blossom and the benzoin, just, you know, guys, I, again, watch the video where I talk about this. This quickly became, I went through a bottle of this in like a month. I had to re-up on a Kim Kardashian fragrance. Like, um, it's unique and it's different, but it is so fall to me. I just see me walking through the trees with the leaves falling and the breeze and a trench coat with some boots on, baby, just look, I'm, and, and fully clothed, y'all. Yeah. Mm -mm. Cause sometimes y'all yeah, be doing too much. And by y'all, I mean me, that be me, I be doing it, I know. Um, But this is just so fall to me. I love this fragrance, I really, really do. And even though I haven't worn it um too much since I got my second bottle, I'm just, I can't wait to put this back on this fall. Um, Ah, oh, man, I just think it's pretty. It is fresh and clean and green. Like this isn't heavily sweet. Um, it isn't my normal judge and it captivates me. So because it's 40 bucks, I think they have a sale going on now, like all, you know, like um, all Labor Day weekend or whatever, the long weekend, I think it's like 25% off. So maybe it's 30 bucks. Um, I don't really want to recommend it because it's so unique to me that I don't know if anybody else will like it. Um, if you can get your nose on it, do that. But guys, I will just say from my personal experience, I, I love this fragrance. I can't even tell you why, but I know it is absolutely beautiful in uh, the summertime as well as into fall. So, yeah. I only have two fragrances left. So I need my subbies right now, my ride or die subbies, to tell me at least the name of one of them. Go ahead and put it in the comments. I'm going to give you some time. Now, this other fragrance that I'm talking about right now is my second favorite pear fragrance of all time. It touts just three notes. Pear, jasmine, and honey. Scandal, I patty. Oh, man. Have you guys smelled this? Like, come on. Scandal is perfection. Scandal by Night is really good as well. Jean-Paul Gaultier comes for your life. He comes for your life and everything more abundantly. He just wants to make you happy. <laughs> okay. Perfection. Okay, so this is beautiful in the summertime, date night. Come on, don't get no sexier than that. Well, it does. We're going to talk about that later. But it really, really, really is sexy. But in the fall, that honey and that jasmine, perfect for fall. And again, this comes across kind of spicy. This puts me in the Halloween Thanksgiving realm too. So again, just perfect for fall. Great transitional fragrance. This last fragrance is my number two favorite perfume of all time. It is the best pear fragrance I've ever smelled in my life. In my life. And I'm obsessed. They came out with a flanker, which let me down. 
So I'm not going to discuss it. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle. All hail the queen, y'all. <laughs> Man, I remember the first time somebody told me that they didn't like LaBelle. And I, I was just like, you the type of person you can't trust. Like, you the type of person you can't trust around somebody else's husband. You can't trust them around your purse when you ain't watching. You can't trust them around your drink at the bar. Like, what you mean you don't like LaBelle? What you mean, no? Anyway, this is beautiful in the high heat of summer. I used to wear this all the time in the summer. Didn't care. But baby, what it does in the fall and in the winter, this is reportedly, they only came out with three notes. You, depending on where you go, you're going to see all kinds of other stuff. But this is basically, essentially pear, vetiver, and vanilla. This is the most feminine vetiver I've ever smelled in my life. This perfume proved to me that you didn't have to fear words like vetiver and patchouli. That you could actually create brilliance in a bottle. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. If you don't care for LaBelle, for the rest of us, whoo, you already know. Hey everyone, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I need you to drop below in the comments and tell me what your number one pair fragrance is. No ties. No top threes, just your number one pair of fragrance. I don't care if it's an oil. I don't care if it's a lotion. I just want to know what pair of fragrance just knocks your socks off. If you're still here, please click the like button. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing and I need to keep it going. Also, subscribe to my channel. Be a part of the Terror Squad. And click that notification bell so that you never miss any of my uploads. Thank you guys for rocking with your girl. We are just moving along at such a beautiful pace and I have no one to thank but you. So, thank you. See you in the comments. And until then, bye.